and we're back. Mike Sonovich, Danger and Play, Gorilla Mindset. All right, what are we going to talk about today? All right, mainstream media, the hoaxing media, will be real quick. They're already saying the Guccifer hack isn't real. All right, so I've been busy. Finishing my Trump book. Massively busy. Hold on, you want to see the dog? What do you think, Julius? Are the Guccifer hacks real? Or are the Guccifer hacks fake? What do you think? All right. So within, I don't know, five minutes, nobody knows if they're real. They were up, they were up for five minutes and they're massive. They're massive. The, um, the, the hoaxing media said, oh yeah, the Guccifer hack isn't real. The new one. Do you know how many fucking files it is? <laughs> Like I, I got, I was working on another project. I'm finishing a book, and people are like, "Guccifer, Guccifer, go, go read the Guccifer hack. Go read the Guccifer hack." Oh, no, 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 no. I'm like, "All right, guys, I'll go check it out." And I was like, "I can't go through this. There, are hundreds, thousands, maybe documents. And how the, how the fuck, how the fuck does anybody know if they're, they're real or not, right?" Within five minutes, the hoaxing media go, oh, yeah, there's nothing new to see here. There's nothing. How, how the fuck do they know? Um, they're lying. Anybody who says if they know that it's real or not real, um, how do you know yet? It is going to take a long time for people to read them, for people to analyze them. Um, it cracks me up. And so it cracks me up how the hoaxing media is saying, fake. They're just, they're not real. Or they're blaming it on a Russian intelligence agency. I read the article in The Hill. They said, the Guccifer hacks... Are, here's, here's where we're at. This is journalism today. The Guccifer hacks aren't real. Oh, but if they are real, Russia. That is already the narrative. They're saying, well, the, the Guccifer hacks aren't real, and we think they're from Russia. And then if you prove they are real, they'll say, oh, yeah, you know, Russia. Pfft, Russia's at it again. You know, it's so predictable now. The media, Julius, come here. Don't jump over there. Come on over here. It, it is so predictable now that whenever something like this happens, they're not, you know, for example, Donald Trump's taxes. Pop quiz. Believe me, the, the, these tie together. Were Donald Trump's taxes hacked and sent to the New York Times? Or were they leaked? Right? Go read the articles on Donald Trump's taxes. Compare them to Guccifer today. Right? So Donald Trump's taxes were, were leaked. Oh yeah, a, a brave whistleblower, a heroic whistleblower leaked Donald Trump's taxes. We don't know who leaked it. It was anonymous, but boy, this person is a courageous whistleblower. Truth to power. Oh, this Guccifer shit is a fucking hack. From the Russian government, you know, boy, they're really trying to mess with our election process. By George. It, it's so fucking predictable and it, it is so tiresome every fucking time. If it hurts Republicans, if it hurts Trump, then it was leaked. If it hurts Democrats, then it was hacked by the Russians. Every fucking time. It isn't even, you know, just in advance. Yeah, in terms of Trump's taxes... Yeah, Trump leaked the taxes himself. Go to dangerandplay.com. Julius, come over here. Don't jump off the bed. Come here. There's a 100% chance that Trump leaked the taxes himself. And I explained all that at Danger and Play. I'm not going to belabor the point. I just want to talk more about the media hoaxes. Why is it that Trump's taxes were leaked, but anything about the DNC is a hack? So you can very you can see right away the language that the media uses whenever they talk about this stuff. If it hurts Republicans, it was a courageous whistleblower leaked it. Um, if it hurts the Democrats, then it was a hacker and pry Russia. Go potty, go potty, Julius. Okay, good boy. So you see it all the time. It is a leak. If it hurts Republicans, it's a hack. If it hurts Democrats. And that is a rule you can apply 100% of the time. That's how you know the media is no longer biased. 
We call it the hoaxing media. It used to be, you know, back in the day, we would say, oh yeah, the biased mainstream media. It isn't the biased mainstream media. It is the hoaxing media. They're not biased. They're, they're not a little bit slanted. They now outright fabricate stories. That's all they do now. It, it isn't a bias anymore. It's a total, it's just a hoax. So it's 100 it, it, if within five minutes of the Guccifer hack, and Guccifer is a hacker, so I don't mind calling it a hack, but let's just call it, how do we know Guccifer hacked it? Maybe it was a courageous whistleblower. Within five minutes, the media was saying, oh, you know, it, they aren't real. Dude, it's, it's like this. The, in, anybody who told you it's not real within five minutes, that is a hoax. That's a fucking lie. That, is, that isn't an issue of judgment. It's bullshit. It's a fucking hoax. You, good boy. Yes, good boy. Come here. So yeah, you can't say within five minutes that it's not real because there was too much to look at. So the mainstream media is the hoaxing media. They aren't biased. They don't disagree with us. They aren't rational, honest people who have taken a different perspective. They are outright hoaxes, hoax artists. And they have already hoaxed people by claiming within five minutes before anybody could have possibly known that the Guccifer rally or the Guccifer release was untrue. You just can't say it. Anybody who told you that was was hoaxing. As for what is in it, um, I don't know because I don't hoax you. I'm biased. I'm pro-Trump, pro-nationalism, pro-America, anti-globalism. I wear my bias on my street, on my sleeve. But I haven't read the Guccifer files, so I'm not going to sit here and say, oh yeah, the Guccifer files are they're real and they really hit the Clintons hard. And isn't that, that would be me hoaxing you, and I don't hoax you. If I haven't read something, I've just said I've been busy today. I've been working on some very, very cool projects. Very. MAGA 3X, I've been working on that project finishing the last chapter of my Trump book. So I'm not going to lie to you and say, oh yeah, here's what's in the leak and I've read it and I know it's real. I don't know if the Guccifer um, release is good to go or it isn't. Right? That's the difference between me and the hoaxing media. I'm just going to say I haven't looked through it yet, haven't checked it out. When I do, then I'll do my fact checking and then I'll be able to, to talk about it. But until I've actually done the work, I'm not going to tell you if it's real or fake. Because that is integrity. The media, they're just hoaxing. Oh yeah, it isn't real. But if, if it is real, then it's from the Russian hackers. It's just a fucking hoax. All right, what else are we working on? MAGA 3X. MAGA 3X. Make America Great Again 3X. MAGA 3X is going to launch this week. It's going to be exciting. MAGA 3X is going to be exciting. I can't wait. Been working on that. That is unrelated to my Trump book. I'm finishing the last chapter. Then we're dealing with editors and, and everything, okay? And The Red Pill, a film that I was associate producer on, that is out in New York on this Friday. And then in Los Angeles, October 14th, join me in Los Angeles. And we will watch the Red Pill movie together. The Red Pill is already getting massive amount of heat from the hoaxing media critics. So, good to go. So, I've been busy. I've been busy. But we got to do these periscopes often. The noise is Julius and Shauna talking. Shauna's going, Hi, Julius! Hi! Hi! Yeah? Oh, wow. So, Julia, development, Julius went down the steps by himself. So, Julius, the eight-month eight puppy, is now going down the steps himself, and he jumped off the bed. He's eight weeks, I mean, not eight months. Eight weeks, Julius, our eight-week-old puppy, having the time of my life. I love dogs. I love puppies. I love animals. And so, yeah, I got a puppy. More fun. And then I have Dante, who's two and a half years old. Dante's a lot of fun, too. Dogs bring a lot of joy into my life, and they help calm down my blood pressure. I live a very intense life, very adrenaline-driven, uh, very fast-paced, very intense. I don't take days off. 
but you got to have a good dog or multiple good dogs and they will help you relax. They are good. All right, what do you guys want to talk about real quick? I got to go finish my um, Trump book. You guys are going to love the Trump book. It's going to blow you away how good it is. I've already sent a few copies off to people. Um, it's been been fantastic. It, you guys, phew, like, I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud of how it turned out. And I'm going to be so proud to share the Trump book with you. October surprise. There isn't going to be everything anti-Clinton is already baked in. Like is you, you call it like priced into the market. There, nothing short of Hillary passing out is going to enter. So um, there's Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. They're not going to drop anything that is going to make people say, "Whoa, Hillary is really evil and corrupt." We know sick Hillary. Is, it's just priced in, okay? So we got two missions. We got to get people registered to vote. We got to get people going to the polls. MAGA 3X. MAGA times 3. Everybody who wants to make America great again, register three people. MAGA 3X. And we're going to talk, talk to you how to do that. We need everybody who supports making America great again. Three people. MAGA 3X. On election day, we need every Trump voter to take three people with them to the polls. MAGA 3X. MAGA 3X now to get people registered. MAGA 3X on voting day. We got to do it. It is an optional. Another corruption story. Oh, Clinton is so corrupt. Clinton cash. I'm so tired. so basic. Basic, basic, basic. Basic bitches in the conservative movement. Nobody gives a fuck about fucking... More Hillary corrupt. Nobody cares. Hillary's corrupt. Everybody knows. Nobody gives a fuck. It isn't going to get anybody else out to vote. And it isn't going to get anyone else who wasn't going to vote to stay home. So the, the corruption shit, who cares? Everybody who supports making America great again, MAGA 3X. You got to get three people registered to vote. Everybody who's going to vote, you got to bring three people with you. It isn't going to, it's going to be a tight race. It's going to be um, a hard run all the way to the end. And all this Clinton corruption, Clinton this, Clinton cash, none of it is so basic and so boring and so ineffective. Hundreds of millions of dollars have been spent spreading that. It's nothing. It is nothing. Oh, but I have a project that we have an October surprise coming from here. Big Daddy has an October surprise for you. But I'm not even going to hint at what it is. But when Big Daddy surprise drops, then you'll understand what it means to move the needle. When my project drops, and I might not, I, my name, it might not even have my name on it, right? I might even, I might even keep my fingerprints off it. But I'm working on an October surprise because I'm tired of basic bitch conservatives who are so boring that they want to talk about Clinton corruption anymore. So I got nothing, nothing about corruption. But we got an October surprise coming. Two points. It's going to move the needle two points, two percentage points. You watch. But I'm not going to hint at what it is. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I might not even release it under my name or under my brand. It might go through somebody completely different. But right here, we have an October surprise. And it's none of this pussy shit, none of this pussy basic bitch conservative crying about corruption in the Clinton Foundation in Haiti. Oh, Haiti! The Clinton Foundation stole from Haiti. They did. And you shared that message to the people, and what has it done? Nothing. Nothing. That's why I, I don't talk to anybody in mainstream conservatism. Oh, let's talk about Haiti more. Oh, there's a hurricane in Haiti. Clinton Foundation ripped off Haiti. Great. Great. Talk about it. Tell me, did that move the needle? No. No, it didn't move the needle. Nothing happened. So why don't we come up with actually compelling arguments? Why don't we actually persuade and influence people? Because they're, they're docile. They are caged animals, right? I'm a wild animal. 
the difference between me and mainstream conservatism is it's like my dog here, right? Julius. Julius is a great dog. I take care of him. I crate train him. I'm very kind to him. I pet him. I feed him. I water him. But he's not a wolf. Julius, Julius, my dog, is Jonah Goldberg, Ben Shapiro, Stephen Crowder, um, Rich Lowry. They're good little pets of the liberals. They're good little boys. You know, maybe the liberals will let them on CNN, maybe they'll let them on TV. If they don't hit too hard, if they're not too effective, if they're good little pets and they stay in their kennel and, they, you know, they do their little tricks and roll over, they can go on CNN, they can go on Megyn Kelly, they can go on all these cuck shows because they're good little pets like Julius. I, I adore Julius. I take care of him. But Julius isn't a wolf, right? You tell him that's wrong. He's a good pet. I adore him. So all these right-wing people talking about corruption, they're good little pets. They get to go on Megyn Kelly and they get to go on Brian Stelter and Jake Taper and Jake Tapeworm. And I don't know what other shows are because I don't watch TV. But they're good pets. They're good. Oh, oh good boy. Good little Shapiro. Talk about, talk about Clinton corruption more. Oh, this is a good boy, little Ben. Oh, this is good little Ben. Yeah, she's so corrupt, huh? Good boy. Good boy. Oh, wait, you said Bill Clinton's a rapist? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 you can't talk about that. You can't, you can't talk about Bill Clinton being a rapist. That might actually, that might actually move the needle, you know? That might actually get women to not support, oh, Hillary Clinton is the queen of cover-ups? Hillary Clinton covers up rape? No, 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 no. Now you're being a wolf. Now you're not being a good little pet, right? The good little pets can't say those things. Because that actually has impact on voters. That might actually affect the vote. So no, 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 no. So the good little pets, the good little doggies, they can talk about, oh, she's so corrupt. Clinton is corrupt and Shillery is corrupt and man, she ripped off the Haitians. I don't give a fuck about Haiti. I'm not, who gives a fuck about Haiti? Don't tell me you do. You don't care about Haiti. Nobody cares about Haiti. Oh, I care about Haiti. No, you don't. You don't give a fuck about Haiti. I, I don't pretend to. I'm not going to pretend I care about Haiti. Why the, I don't care about Rwanda. I don't care about the Congo. No. I don't care. I don't care about that shit. Why should I? You know, there's a lot of things. To, I care about my dog. You know, people are like, oh yeah, I care about Haiti. Oh, it's terrible what Hillary Clinton did to Haiti. You don't care. You don't care. If you care, you would do something. You'd fly to Haiti. You'd give money to Haiti. You would make big donations. Let's not pretend to care about things that we don't really care about. I don't pretend to care about things that I don't care about. I care about America. I don't give a fuck about the rest of the world. I don't care that Europe has imported rapists and terrorists. I don't care. That's their fault. Oh, there's all the... Oh, oh in Germany, they can't go to Oktoberfest. Oh, they can't go to their music festivals. I don't care. These fucking idiots let those people in their country... I don't give a fuck and I'm not going to pretend to care, but I do use Europe as a cautionary tale. I say, okay, they tried open borders globalism in Europe. Empirically, it's been demonstrated that Middle Easterners are not able to live under Western rules. So great, I just don't want them here. Not Middle Easterners. But I, well, I like Iran actually, which is ironic. Muslim, but, like hardcore Muslims. but hardcore Muslims don't do well in America. So I don't pretend to care about Europe. Oh, I'm so sorry that Germans are, their country's fucked up. Why would I care? That's their country. They fucked it up. It's kind of like, you know, if, I'm, if I know you and you're reading it and you're, um, you tell me that like you took a shit on your living room floor and it's, your house smells bad. Like, I'm, I'm not going to be like, oh, it's so sad, your house I don't care. Like you did that yourself. I, there are real, there are real problems in the world. So I don't care. I'm not going to pretend to care. But because of that, you can't go on. You know, you, you're not the pet. The good little pets. They pretend to care about Haiti, and they pretend to care, uh, care about corruption, and they don't hit the Clintons too hard. They don't hit. Uh, they don't land blows. Everything I do, my blows land, and they land hard. So because of that, I have to do my own thing. And I have some blows that are going to land. We have an October surprise coming. We have a couple. 
and it's going to move two percentage points. It is already going to move at two points. My reporting on Hillary's health, five points already. I've already moved the election by five points. Two more. Two more, and it's a landslide. So I'm going to move at two points. That's why you don't see me talking about the corruption. That isn't going to move the needle at all. So we've hit it five points. Now we got two. Some people are talking about Danny Williams. Wouldn't it be interesting? Wouldn't it be interesting if Bill Clinton fathered an illegitimate half-black son and abandoned him? Wouldn't it be interesting if we could prove that Bill Clinton was a deadbeat dad and he didn't want the son in his life because Danny Williams is black? That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? That would be interesting. Wouldn't that be interesting? Who knows? Maybe that'll happen. Maybe DNA tests are being done. Maybe D I'm not saying that I have anything to do with that or if that's going to happen. I'm just going to say, wouldn't that be interesting if we had DNA proving Danny Williams was Bill Clinton's illegitimate son? And wouldn't that send a message to black voters that Bill Clinton doesn't care about black people because he abandoned his own black son? That would be interesting. That's the kind of stuff that turns me on. That's the kind of stuff I think about. That's the kind of stuff that will actually have an impact. Right? Bill Clinton abandoned his half-black illegitimate son. Racist Bill Clinton. Deadbeat Bill Clinton. Who knows? Who knows how we're going to bring it? Not that I'm doing anything with it or anybody's doing it. I'm just saying, um, you know, Will Clinton, deadbeat dad? Boy, that sure sounds a lot more persuasive than another dumb, boring-ass, basic bitch corruption story. But even conservatives don't like us talking about that. Because conservatives, real quick branding point, Ben Shapiro, Jonah Goldberg, the National Review, the Heritage Foundation, they want Donald Trump to lose and they want Clinton to win. Why? Branding. I'll tell you why. Branding. If Hillary Clinton wins, then the ratings of all these people, they go up. They get better ratings because they're attacking Hillary all day. Hillary this, Hillary another scandal, Hillary that. And that's like crack to basic bitch conservatives. But if Trump wins, and when Trump wins, nobody, the basic bitch conservatives aren't going to want to read articles about why the National Review, the Cuck Review, hates Trump. They're going to say, no, he's our president, he's Republican you know, we're just not going to read your papers. They want, they want and they need for their own business, they need Hillary to win. Otherwise, they're going to go bankrupt. They will all go bankrupt if sick Hillary doesn't win. That's why they're fighting for sick Hillary to win. That's why they freaked out when, who freaked out the most when I went on Fox News? Right? Wasn't liberals. See, that's interesting. That's an interesting, um... That is an interesting story. I went on Fox News and it wasn't liberals who got mad. It was conservatives. It was Jonah Goldberg and National <laughs> Review, Cock Review, Ben Shapiro. So because I was such a compelling, effective a voice for Trump that they knew that if I kept going on TV, Trump would get elected. For sure, 100%. So they, they got me banned from TV, from Fox News, because... They can't have Trump win. Their businesses will fail. So for their businesses to stay open and all they care about is money, they are trying to get Hillary to win. They're shutting down effective Trump voices. But it doesn't matter to me, you know, because I understand all this shit. I know the game better than anybody. That's right. That's right. So we're hitting them hard. I have October surprises planned. Some of them might hit, and I'm just going to say I had nothing to do with it. We got two coming. They're going to be heavy hitting. And maybe I'll be involved with it. Maybe you'll know. Maybe you won't. All right. Mike Cernovich, Danger Play. Gorilla Mindset. Has almost 500 reviews. If you haven't already, buy Gorilla Mindset. If you've already read Gorilla Mindset... Read zero to one. If you're curious, do you guys want to see what other books I have back here? 
do you want to see what other books I'm uh, going through? Type yes if you do, no if you don't. Let me know if you want to see what other books I'm reading. Some people go, fake book sales, yeah. My Twitter stats are fake, my book sales are fake, people recognizing me in public is fake, um, people knowing me is fake, people spotting me worldwide is fake. Yeah, you're right, you know, it's all illusion. 1,600 people watching live, that's fake. You know, you're, you, you sure got me. All right, Gorilla Mindset, zero to one. A book on acting, why? Because you gotta get in touch with yourself. Even though I'm a journalist, I'm also a performer. So I have to be a better performer. That's acting. The Birth of Tragedy by Nietzsche. Read your Nietzsche. Persuasion, another great book. Told everybody to read it. Uh oh. Impossible to ignore. The Elements of Eloquence. <coughs> the Elements of Eloquence because you got to be more... People assume because I call people cucks, I can't call them anything else. But I call people cucks because it pisses them off. Oh, hey, Shauna, let's make sure that he doesn't go try to eat that. So, be more eloquent. Good party for you. And then... Charles Munger's Almanac. Old Charlie's Almanac. Ch Charles Almanac. Char ah, you fucker. Charlie Munger is one of America's greatest original thinkers. So this is like a big coffee table kind of book. It's, it's expensive too. So, you know, I wish they would do it in Kindle. I actually think this is a bad, um, this is like a bad, this is cute to have, but... <coughs> This is cute. Uh, this is poor Charles Almanac, the abridged one. This is cute to have, but it's a bit, you know, like you can't travel with it. You can't take it with it. Poor Charles Almanac would probably have sold a million copies if it were better um, produced and better, better marketed. But it's cute to have. It's cute to have, like, as a coffee table book and just to read. But you can't bring it with you on a trip or anything like that you know so it has a lot of his talks a lesson on elementary worldly wisdom so it's a collection of his speeches book recommendations he has I think very highly of Charles Munger so this is a fantastic book it's just a poorly formatted book it's a bit you know compare this to Gorilla Mindset see you know then zero to one so it's just a massive book all right, so I'll do the list one more time. Poor Charles Almanac. The Elements of Eloquence. The Actor's Craft. Birth of Tragedy. Impossible to Ignore. Persuasion. Zero to One, which I just reviewed at Danger and Play. Gorilla Mindset. By the way, I always like comments. Somebody said I have a fake fake headboard. No shit. Keep your housing costs low. A fake headboard? What does that mean? I don't know. Like, apparently that's fake. But I, I always like when people try to judge the way I live my life and be like, oh, yeah, no kidding. You keep your fixed costs low. That's a basic way to have wealth. How do you think I have so much fun? I keep my costs low. No idea. It just gave me a chance to rant about something. Don't don't get in the weeds. So Shauna Shauna hasn't learned Gorilla Mindset PR. Shauna tries to actually argue with, like, get into the weeds of getting into points, and I don't. I just take a, something that a person hated on, and use that as an excuse to like brag about myself. You know, so it's like she hasn't gotten it yet. That. You don't actually argue with whatever the person says. If a person says you're ugly, you don't say, I'm not ugly, I have this, this, and this feature, right? If a person says you're ugly, you just say, well, all the women who are sending me nude pictures sure don't agree with that, right? 
He, that, that's just it's redirection. You know, so whenever somebody attacks you, you don't defend against the attack. You just come up with some you know outlandish thing. And most people in conservatism, they don't even understand that. That's why most of what you read is just basic and boring. You know, like when people will be like, "Oh, Cernovich, you're a Jew." You know, people will be like, "Oh my God, somebody called me a Jew, and this is anti-Semitic." When people call me a Jew, I'm like, well, that's why I've made so many movies and write so many books. Because then I get to brag, see? People don't get it. I explain it. You can't go into the weeds. And this is real life. This isn't just ma managing a brand online. This isn't just like running a global worldwide brand like mine. This is just in real life. Th there are people in, in Shauna's social circle who would like think that I'm a bad person and I would never defend myself and say I'm a good person. I would just say, well, you know, it's unfortunate you're not smart enough to realize what I'm really about. Right? That's what you got to do in real life. Oh, you think I'm a bad person? Well, that sucks. Not everybody's really smart enough to get what I do, you know? No biggie. So that's literally in real life. Oh, I like this guy. I'm like, yeah, you know, not everybody, like, can get it, you know? Hey. So you can never get mad. You just redirect that shit. So what I teach isn't just about managing a global worldwide brand. It's all that you can apply to like your one-on-one your -on -one interactions with people. You never, never defend who you are to another person. Never defend who you are. Never, you know, if somebody calls me a racist, you know, I never defend myself. A misogynist. You can't put me on the defense. I'm always offense, right? Offense means offending people, so I offend people also. That's just the way... That you gotta look at life. Can't play defense. Fuck the haters. Fuck what you heard. This is the best book list you're ever gonna find anywhere. The only thing that's missing is Scott Adams' book. But I have a bunch of books on Kindle too. You guys wanna know what I'm reading on my Kindle? So, <coughs> Coffin Cernovich. The, um, see, I talk too much. Alright. So, aww, what are you crying about, huh? You can't jump on the bed yet, but you can jump off it. So on the Kindle, I like to read a lot of books at a time because, because why? So on my Kindle, I have Zero to One, The Diversity Myth. I have Persuasion on my Kindle. So if I like a book, I read it on the Kindle, and then I read the paperback too. So I have multiple versions. Yoga, Anatomy. A book on hypnotic suggestions and metaphors. A book on stretch anatomy. The Return of Sherlock Holmes. I also have Impossible to Ignore. I have Impossible to Ignore on my uh, Kindle too. Gorilla Mindset, obviously. Gorilla Mindset has over 100,000 highlights after a year. It's a lot of highlights, and it's not a big book either. Musashi. Uh, Danger and Play, which is my collection of essays. Do, do I buy my own books? Yeah, I buy my own books because you have to buy a Kindle version of your book to get the same reader experience that your readers have. Um, the Gulag, Archipelago, J, I don't know how to pronounce it. Alexander Solzhenitsyn's book, The Lucifer Principle by Howard Bloom, Global Brain by Howard Bloom, Time Loops by Fred Allen Watts, So You've Been Publicly Shamed by John Ronson, God's Debris by Scott Adamson. Violence of Action, book about the Ranger Regiment and the Global War on Terror. DMT, the Spirit Molecule. The Power of Positive Thinking. Words That Sell, a book on sales. Shadow Men, a lot of books. How Long Will South Africa Survive? How to Change the World? Presence by Amy Cuddy, blah, blah, blah. So you got to keep reading, guys. Uh, people think I sell books, but I buy a lot of books too. Why? Because, man, you got to stay informed. You got to stay connected. People, actually, I don't believe in science for the most part. Social science is a scam. But for those of you who do, a recent study showed that people who read a book, not blogs, not articles, not Twitter, people who read a book for half an hour a day were 60% less likely to die in accidents and Live longer. So, you live longer, literally, the more you read. See, but you gotta read books. You gotta, you know, 
People think I just troll the internet, I just tweet, but that's only what you see. You don't see what you don't see. Remember that in life. Is that you, you only see what you see, which means you don't see what you don't see. Focus. So I focus people on the wild, crazy, pro wrestling Twitter aspect. Meanwhile, I'm doing all this shit, and I have been for 15 years. You know, this is just like a month, month of reading. And that's why people are like, oh, Mike is crazy. It's like, you motherfuckers don't even know the game. My haters don't even know the game. I'm at such a high level. They can't even see what I'm doing. All they see is a 140 character tweet. But they don't realize that 140 character tweet has three or four or five different P. I probably have the equivalent of five PhDs in terms of what I know and understand and can apply to life. So they don't, they see 140 characters. They don't see the five PhDs behind that 140 characters. Because remember, you only see what you see. You don't see what you don't see. Try to see more. We just hit 25,000 unique viewers. Hey, that's more than most cable news segments do. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, Gorilla Mindset is on Audible. It is on Amazon. If everybody watching now goes and buys Gorilla Mindset, then I'll do another Periscope tomorrow. If everybody buys Gorilla Mindset right now, and I can check sales data by the hour. I'll do another Periscope tomorrow. Gorilla Mindset, Audible, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Paperback, Kendall, you name it. Thanks for tuning in. Mike Cernovich, Danger in Play, Gorilla Mindset.